Everybody's just running in there. It's crazy. Get this little Pikachu guy. guys, welcome back, Trixie Official here, and we are on the Hypixel network today, and we're still using the newer texture pack that we were using not too long ago, see the diamonds are a little bit edited as well, but yes, I mean, it looks pretty nice, I'll go ahead and just go into some normal solo mode here, or the other way around, and I'll be using the night kit, but as you guys see, most of these items are edited here, and it's like, I don't know, the bow, the farad, I don't know, I, wanna, I don't want to say anything wrong that I didn't edit, but basically, the original pack is by I'm Forest. And my edits just basically trick Saudi edits, so that clears things up a little bit. Basically, the sword, I think I really like it. And normally, I don't like packs that are smaller than, I don't know, 32 times 32. Not only because my PC could normally handle stuff bigger in it, but I mean, I get so much better frames with it. The game becomes smoother. And especially like the axe, you guys can tell what that's from. But I mean, I really like this. Like, normally, I get about, I don't know, 50, 60 frames when I am not recording with shaders. No, when I am recording with shaders. When I'm not, I get about 100, but right now I'm on Ultra Shaders, and I'm getting about, I don't know, 100 frames. Let's go die a trap here. Oh, here's a guy. There we go. Guy taking a screen or something. And he walked off. Okay, that was interesting. Don't see that every day. But yes, I do hope you guys like this pack. I mean, it's 16 times 16, so you will get better frames, of course, than a bigger pack, because basically it's common sense. Some people don't like the GOI, but it was honestly very hard to fit anything, like text in there. I did want to have some kind of text or some kind of thing that was different than the regular GOI, which is just basically plain and blah, you know, wasn't good. So I tried to change it up a little bit. Hopefully you guys like it, Pack. I may get this with Packway sooner. I am not sure. Maybe 5k, I'm thinking, but who knows? Maybe sooner than that. Because I mean, I really do want to make a new pack that's going to be much better, have something better planned. I think you guys are going to like that a lot more. But, to be honest, it's a great pack. I mean, you get good frames. Like, it might be like times 20, not times 16, but it's just a great pack overall. I did make it myself with help from Dice and Byros, so... It didn't take too long, since I have help. Thank you again, Dice and Byros, for doing that. You guys can check her out by checking the featured channels. This baby derp's crazy. You see, it's just overall pretty smooth, too. Just one thing I really like. GG. So that was good. Okay, I did, not, I did not think I'd beat that guy, but you can just tell things are a little bit smoother now. Of course, I am using motion blur, so I'll clear a few things up. But hey, since you guys know pretty much a lot about the pack, we're going to go ahead and jump right to the next rounds. Okay, guys, so here we are in the next round, and I'll be using the Armorsmith kit, putting for double health. But yes, I think I really like it. And you know, normally, as I said before, I like to use packs bigger resolution, but I think I'll keep this pack for a little while. I really think it's pretty nice. Did keep the white outlay, or whatever you want to call it. The white texture outside the armor, I think, is much nicer. And, I don't know, this is kind of a little thing that I do. I don't know a lot of people that actually do that. If there's a pack that does it, please let me know, because I would actually like to try that pack, I think. Even though it would be a pack of my own, it seems pretty interesting. That was, like, really noisy anvil. Wouldn't stop making noise. Someone's going to mid here. Okay, that guy was actually going to try to get me. Not bad. I like the pack that this is smoother in general. Like I, when I'm peeping people, I feel like it's like more like clamped down, more like kind of oh, smoother gameplay. That's always nice. I mean, if I have to play a smaller pack to get smoother gameplay, like who would? This is so nice to have that feature. Probably should not be standing here. So let's get a gapple here and then get this bow. Quick power three. Oh, oh. Okay, did not see that guy. He's a little bit fast. Where, where's everybody going? I can't I can't see anything here. <laughs> okay, they're over there. Everybody's just running in there. It's crazy. Get this little Pikachu guy. He's done for. This regen going in here. Okay, let's barely survive that one. More regen. Barely hanging on here, guys. This guy's <laughs> he's pretty good.
bow battle right now. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna hope that I run out of arrows or something. A regen here, yes we do. Nice bow spam. Yeah, I'm sorry I have to bow spam. I mean, your gear's a little bit better than mine, so... Gotta use the tactic to my advantage. And yes, guys, that is bow spam. I am bow spamming him right now. Sorry for that, dude. I did not want to be able to spam you. Sadly, I have to because you're really good. Hopefully you can take that uh, as an excuse. I think we got him. I think that's a GG right there, guys. Yes, good game. Very good game. So yes, I do hope you guys like the pack. I mean, it's pretty interesting. The armor outline, the sword. I think it just really came together really nicely. I do hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys will like the video and leave a positive feedback in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, have a great day. See ya. Have a nice one.